peace y'all thank you so much for tuning in happy sunday Woo. all right so i'm just gonna pull some messages first card that came out was the seven of pentacles so we're gonna start there don't forget flip your roles take what you need leave what you don't need and please use the spirit of discernment okay um I don't know what timeline you're on. I don't know if you're masculine or feminine. All right. I'm just reading it how I receive it. Okay. So don't shoot the messenger. Now, however, when the seven of pentacles comes out, it really talks about your investments and, and what you've been putting your time, your energy, or your resources in. And you are really planning. I feel like you could be trying to be patient because um, you're ready to see your efforts pay off. Right. And so what I'm hearing is that, you know, take a step back for a second and just really reassess everything. Okay. Look how far you have come. That, that will tell you if you're persevering or not. Okay. So look how far you have come and, and just really trust the natural progression and timing. Okay. Of your efforts, um, and your investments, everything is happening. It's just, it's requiring patience. Okay. So let me see something here. Sever vows of poverty. Okay. So that's that may be the issue. And so once you sever the vows of poverty or self-denial, um, then you're able to see your actual abundance. Okay, or actually see the manifestation of what you're putting your efforts into. Because usually what happens is um over time, right? It could be consciously or unconsciously, but whatever happens over time, we begin to hold this intention, okay. Um, because we may have sacrificed a lot. We may have suffered from some things. We may have, you know, been in a state of lack for a long time and it creates this, I want to say, Hmm, I guess a tie. Let's just say it that way. It creates this tie. Okay. And let me look up sever vows of poverty real quick. It says this card means that your finances are being affected by vows of poverty that you have taken in the past. At one time, it was common for spiritual and religious seekers, monks, and nuns to take a vow of sacrifice, including forsaken personal income and comforts. Vows of poverty, self-denial, and chastity can block you in this lifetime. If you have chronic, chronically negative patterns with respect to your finances and relationships, it's helpful to release their hold over your life. This is nothing to fear, and anyone can do this. It's a matter of saying out loud or silently, I hereby sever and release any vows of poverty, self-denial, self-sacrifice, or chastity that I may have made in any lifetime. And I ask that all effects of those vows be forever undone in all directions, of time from everyone involved okay it says your body may shudder as you release this pent-up energy and as soon as you do so you should notice improvements in your abundance flow in relationships you only need to sever these vows one time and their effects are lifted okay and so that seems to be you know what's happening here it's like you're waiting for the reward you know you planted the seeds you're tending to your garden however but now it's time for you to trust the natural progression of it you've been working very hard okay especially towards your long-term goal so like i said take a step back and really just assess your progress here and um adjust to your strategy i mean because you've got a strategy you have a, a real plan okay and it's really paying off all right so it's that fear um, or that vow to poverty that you may have made that is causing you to feel like you ain't seeing no progress, but you are, okay? Or that it won't work, you know, things like that. So, um, and what I just heard was, how is your relationship with money? Because if you have a poor relationship with money, then guess what? 
this is also where the poverty um, mindset comes from. So if you say I'm broke, I don't have enough, this, this, and that, that's a, that's a bad relationship that you may have with money. Okay. So you got to start speaking life into your finances, into whatever you are investing into. Okay. And trusting that it's going to manifest at the right time. Okay. Because you put in your efforts, you put in your time, you put in your resources. All right. And then when it comes down to, um, you taking it to the next step because I definitely feel like you are ready to take it to the next step. You've been planning, you've been preparing, um, but this is just the early stages, okay? So I don't know what this is. This could be about your money. This could be about a relationship, but however, this is the early stages of this venture and you're laying the groundwork. That's how I'm hearing it. You're laying the groundwork. Show me what I need. What is this that we're talking about? Start to affirm, I am ready to take the next step. I trust the natural progression and timing of my efforts and investments. Tell me about the two of wands. The twins have been coming out heavy in majority of all the readings, okay? So when it comes to the empress and the lover, the lovers, really, um, it's about choices. And so I feel like you may have found harmony between you and someone else. It's like balance. It's like a balance of the opposites. It's like you guys are at a point where you reach duality, Okay, in a relationship, a partnership, or a union of some choice, of, of some sort. I said choice, so it definitely may, you may be faced with a choice, okay? And this is a choice that you are going to have to make, or it requires you to listen to your heart, especially when it comes to the Empress. And so the Empress is the divine feminine energy. But I feel like whatever you have going on here is literally like this person could be very nurturing, very caring, okay? Um, very creative. Hmm. You could be in your creativity. You could be um, very abundant right now. A lot of growth, abundance, and nurturing and stuff when it comes to all aspects of your life, especially like your love life, your career, your finances. And look at that, the King of Cups. So, this is an emotional connection. Very, very balanced connection. Somebody is very in control of their emotions right now and they know how to navigate through some situations here with that grace and that wisdom. And that's what's happening. Nine of Wands is in the reverse. I feel like somebody could have, you know, given up at one point on relationships or partnerships or however. But that's because of the past, right? It's because of the vow that you may have made because you've never seen yourself go past the Seven of Pentacles. You never seen your the efforts come out of what you um have been putting your investment into your time your resources your heart whatever you haven't seen it and so you created this vow of poverty and that's why you can't move past the seven of pentacles or progress when it comes to your relationships okay or your partnerships whatever this may be so yeah you want to go back and um sever those vows okay and hold the intentions of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously and unconsciously in any lifetime all right so that's going to be first and foremost so maybe go back and rewind the video so you can hear you know the little uh insert that i read to you guys so that you can begin to do this because what you got here is balance and it's alignment here and whatever that desired outcome is that you are hoping for is going to occur in the very near future. So just have patience and have faith and don't try to force anything to happen, but just really take a step back and assess your progress. You came a long way. You got an empress on your hand, or if you are the empress, <laughs> peace.